So quick stop in Seville or Sevilla for some shopping and a bit of lunch. Feed them boys up and we are now going another hour and a half towards Portugal for a camper stop with a pool. So I know a lot of you have asked about the roads in Spain. So I just wanted to let you know a little bit about the roads in Spain. Um, first of all, driving on the right hand side, for those of you that haven't driven on the continent, it's a lot easier than you might think. You soon get used to it. Um, in half an hour, you're just used to it. Um, so that's easy. Motorways in Spain, absolutely fabulous. Probably some of the best motorways in Europe are in Spain. Um, and what's more, they're empty. In most places, maybe around Madrid and around Seville, there's a lot more congestion. But apart from that, all the main arteries that go through Spain, fantastic. Um, we have not encountered any toll roads in Spain. There are a few, I understand, but we haven't encountered any. Um, not like France, you're going to come across them every five minutes. Um, and also these bulls, you see these bulls up on the mountainside here? You see them every now and again um, driving down Spain, driving through Spain. So quite interesting, they, there's loads of them just dotted around. The odd bull here and there. Um, speed cameras, there are speed cameras, but generally you'll get a, um, there's a warning sign. Um, just, you know, before the speed camera is there. Um, they'll put a warning sign like this one here and then a little bit later on you'll see the speed camera so most of the time plenty of warning for speed cameras hopefully we ain't been caught on one yet um, we'll find out when we get home um, so that's it guys any more questions about driving in Spain and Portugal get in the comments oh no nearly out of fuel and we're on the motorway see you're gonna have to pay top money on the motorway this ain't gonna be cheap South serve here. I've been sport up to now. Got to put my own diesel in. 132. Oh, this is going to cost me a fortune. 109.44. Daylight robbery. Daylight robbery. What are they doing here that you need to get a form for customer complaints? I'm going to give the windscreen a quick wash. <laughs> Yeah, that's better. Oh, all them dead flies coming down the motorway all day. Right, let's get on. Camper park it is. Greetings from Portugal. Hola. Hello. <laughs> Hola is Spanish. But it's still Portuguese as well. Obrigado. That, yeah, that's oh, everything. Bon dia. Dia. Yeah. Guy said dear to me this morning, I guess. Dear. It's day. morning, not good morning, is it? Dear. <laughs> anyway, hi. <laughs> we're in Portugal, guys. Yay. A day early than we had originally planned, I got to say. Well, to be honest, we weren't even coming to Portugal, were we? That was a it was just Spain. But hey. <laughs> well, the whole idea was actually to carry on our trip from last year, wasn't it, from Villa Ricos? Yes. Um, last year our trip was around the plan was to go around the coast. And we only went as far as Villaricos and then escaped to France. So this time we're picking up from Villaricos and taking it further round. Yes. Um, we normally do six weeks to do these kind of trips. This is only just four weeks and one day, I believe, we got here. So we're having a move on quite quickly. Mm. We've probably front-loaded the driving as well. Um, I often like to do that. See, we've got the same amount of driving to get all the way around the Iberian Peninsula. Um, and if we front load it, it means we can slow down later on at some stage. We've got some days in the bank, less driving to do later on in the holiday. So I like doing it that way. That mm. is my preferred way. Yeah. So we was on the beach yesterday, weren't we? Lovely beach. Gorgeous. Beautiful beach, sandy beach. It was warm water. Is that shallow, sandy, golden sand. Best beach yet. Mm. That was, so that was fantastic. Um, checked out the campsite around 12 o'clock, got on the road and the idea was to do one last stop in Spain just before the border, Portugal, and we were recommended an air mm. with a pool. Mm. Looked like a great air. We can't remember who recommended it to us. It was a pin that we'd had on the map for probably about five years actually. <laughs> I don't know. I do drop pins. You know, people recommend places to me and I can see you know, the enthusiasm in their face. I'm like, that's somewhere we need to visit. I'll drop a pin. Um, 
So it was a pin we dropped. I know it was recommended to um, stop. Um, and I know it was also been recommended since mm. we posted out where we are. Um, we tried to go there. Mm. But it was full. It was full. Busy full. Um, owners were lovely. The pool looked fantastic. Mm. The pool looked fantastic. It was tiny. But yeah, but it was, it was it was perfect. Perfectly formed. It was. So um, I think we maybe put a link in the description for that one. Yeah. So if you guys are in the area, but it is a busy year, I must say. Yeah. So that weren't right. So we moved down the road, tried another campsite just a little way down the road, five, ten minutes down the road. Um, they were, had a little bit of space. It was a big campsite, and it was very busy. This was a proper destination campsite, so it had an mm. animation team, it had a wonderful swimming pool, um, it was full of um, Spanish fa families, which yeah. would have been lovely. But the only space they had was just like right over the far side of the campsite, and it wasn't, I just didn't get the feeling, so I said, you know what, let's move on. The, the owners did say that we'd be able to move to a better plot. And they were very welcoming. As soon as one as soon became of available they did say that it would be very welcome to move around but you know sometimes but you just you have to listen to your spidey sense don't you yeah so we moved on from that one yep <laughs> <laughs> we it was a challenging Two day so far. <laughs> so far. <laughs> we then found one at the port yeah well yeah we found one on a map but couldn't get to it the, yeah. the one way system we went round and round small streets <laughs> and it was like in the end i said this isn't meant to be lynn's and I just said, let's go to Portugal. Yep. So three. Three so far. <laughs> so we just headed up a bit um, along the river, the estuary, whatever it is, and over the bridge and into Portugal without yeah. any stops whatsoever. Yeah, the, the, the borders between Spain and Portugal are completely open, have been since the end of April. Um, if we were coming in from uh, via air or by boat, then we'd have to do all the paperwork and everything again. But I think because we've been in Spain for two weeks yeah. and the borders are are open, there were no checks necessary. So that was easy. That was easy. So mm. we went to another air um, further down the Estuary River. Um, yeah. And we needed electric, there's no shade there, and you know we need electric, it's hot, we want to get the air con running for the boys whenever we can. Yeah, and although we could get on the air, there was no one around, the electric was locked. Mm. Another one that wasn't right. <laughs> Four. <laughs> now by this time the boys are getting tired, hungry, um, I'm getting groggy, I've mm -hmm. been driving for hours. Um, when are we there? We don't know where there We're is. Nearly there, yeah. Making it up as we go along. Yeah. But then Lindsay found this place. Yeah, no, 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 no. You missed one. You missed another one. That was only four. We, we, we did. Um, we went to the place that we met up with friends last year. Oh, uh, last time wow, we were here. Yes. Uh, Nick and Sarah, and they're here. I, I recognised that as soon as I drove in. Um, thin streets again. Yeah. And it's a car park with a grumpy attendant. <laughs> it's a, a great little resort, seaside resort. It does look nice. It does look lovely, um, but there's no overnight parking, they, and I think it's it, windy. I think it may be in the winter, but in the summer, just cars. Just cars. So I'm turning up there, and she's like, no, no, no chance. No, no. <laughs> so I turn and manoeuvre around very tight again um, and get us out of there. Then Lindsay found this place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how many was that? Five. Yeah. The sixth place. So yeah. we were tired at this stage, but we turned up here and immediately I just knew this was the right place. Yeah. And that's why I wanted to do this video um, to tell you about this and to tell you about the challenges we've had um, since the last video. <laughs> so we're in Tavira, just on the edge of Tavira. It is a very modern, very new camper park. It's actually a camper park. It's not a campsite, yeah. um, because by that time we, you know, everyone's had enough. We don't, we don't really need any facilities. We don't want to pay full price for a campsite with facilities we're not going to use. But we need electric, right? <laughs> um, so it's a posh air, really, isn't it? So yeah. really, so not market air. It's a new air. Um, December two thousand and nineteen mm -hmm. is when this one um, um, begun. Yeah. It's actually the, the trees. Can you see this one behind us? 
Some of these trees are absolutely amazing, and you know, it's a proper olive, ancient tree. She loves the trees. <laughs> you know. So it's got some mature trees dotted around, and it's sculpted lovely. Yeah. I think there's 123 pitches, um, 120 with electric, yeah. three without. Um, there's three service um, bays, in fact. Yeah. Very, very modern. It's got a great feel to it. it really has. Yeah. There's no toilets, but that's fine because most campers have got their own onboard toilet. And like you said, there are three service pitches, so you can empty your yeah. chemical toilet at any point. You did ask when we arrived, are we self-sufficient? You've got to have a toilet to come in. That's the yeah. main thing. Um, there are showers. There's two types of showers. There's indoor and outdoor. The outdoor showers are free. The indoor showers are one euro for five minutes, which was plenty. Unless I wanted to put a mask treatment on my hair, but it's all right. I'll do that next time. <laughs> <laughs> the boys have dodged a shower. Me too, to be honest with you. But I had one yesterday, and I'll have one again at the next stop um, today. <laughs> Baby whitewash day. Realities of van life. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so that's where we're at. This was one I wanted to show you guys. So I just want to do a quick video to show you. Um, we'll have a little quick scoot round in a second to show you what it's like. Mm. Um, and we've got to get off shortly off the pitch anyway but yeah. I just didn't want to miss this one out because if you're in the area definitely want to check out it is inexpensive what how much was it I think it was 14 euros I have to check that one it was inexpensive but it does vary on how many are in your uh, in the camper um, only a little bit and whether you're coming in the summer in the winter and whether you want electric but at the end of the day it's an inexpensive stay in the Algarve yeah, generally on airs like this, um, it's manned air, so there's someone who will work here, some are automated, and you pay for your pitch, for your people, and then electric, and if the pitches have water, this one doesn't, if the pitches have water, then you sometimes pay for the water as well. Right, let's show you guys around. It's like I was saying earlier, there's plenty of mature trees like these. One of the motorhome service points here, another motorhome service point just here, and there's a double motorhome service point right here by the entrance. Look, there's some nice sinks in here under this shade, under this sail. And you've got some nice electric points like this, which look great. Nice and modern and new looking. And there's also bike racks. These are dotted all over the place. There are areas like this for hanging your washing. That train goes by quite frequently. Um, that's the only downside to this, the train track right by the side of the air. Um, and at 5.15 this morning, a train came by beeping his horn, so that wasn't very clever. Another one leaving. Most people will use these for maybe a one or two day stop offs. Or maybe they'll come here in the evening and then go off and do things during the day. Here's the entrance here, which is locked up at night. Here it is. Algarve Motorhome Park, Tavira. The reception is open from 8 in the morning till 8.30 in the evening. And you can even order bread the day before that will be delivered at 8 o'clock in the morning. There are washing machines too, and dryers. So very friendly, very helpful people. Um, two young people in fact that are working here. Young guy last night and there's a young girl on today. And I must say they are very busy. Uh, and like I said earlier, the only downside to this is this train track and the train's coming by fairly frequent. All right, Mona. Yep. So here's our pitch behind us, um, and we had lovely shade from that tree over there last night, which was great. Although the, uh, the bugs and insects were coming out fairly early, so we had to call it a night and get in because we were getting bitten. Again, basic pitch set out last night here because today we're moving further on up the coast. We're nicely refreshed after what was quite a long day traipsing around trying to find the right place to stay yesterday. Um, last night's stop was a lovely little, it's a pitch up rather than a campsite. It was lovely, perfect, did exactly what we needed. And now we're heading around the coast to find a new campsite.